how much of the blessings you're getting from being exactly obedient to God's will that men happen to say is God's will. Anyways, how much of those blessings are this beautiful feeling of connection to other people, which is conforming to their values, validating their experience and you know, you're validating each other's experience. And so that feels like a blessing. It feels like a reward, right? And then if you're not conforming, if you're not being exactly obedient and you're not being the ideal version of what you're supposed to be in a dogmatic sort of paradigm, you might be sort of punished or cursed and or at the very least not blessed because you're not conforming and then you face rejection that feels like not a blessing right so i feel like I feel like a lot of the blessings you receive for being exactly obedient are behaviorism essentially and so when you come to a point of um, not being so concerned of what others think of you, but still caring for others, maybe even more. You're caring for their welfare, but you're not concerned about what what others are thinking of you. You come to a point where the behaviorism doesn't work, so the reward and punishment system of the blessings and curses doesn't work as much either. And so, then you're you're left with a new paradigm to face